Okay, so I started taking some notes. My, actually, the time of making the video right now. Uh, oh, so a little later in the day, 7.23, but I took some of these notes down here. And some of my other notes were earlier, like this was, this was like, what, a few days ago. Anyway, so... In order to understand if some of the, uh, I'm just, uh, some of the, let me put a summary of points. You have to, in order to understand why I'm saying these things, you have to actually familiarize yourself with a lot of other information, and I'm going, I'll provide links to the sources of some of this information. So, um, I believe um, we humans are psychic, or we could say spiritual beings trapped in these bodies. Uh, um, and are placed in planet Earth is like a prison in order to perform a function uh, which is to process oh wait, wait. process and resolve uh opposing psychic energies uh, by other entities uh, hmm, right so we are being used as a tool to perform used as a tool to perform this function of, like example, example with a masculine, feminine, uh, you know, what is it, yin, yang, or yin, yang, like a positive, negative, and when you take these negative, these opposing psychic energies, and you, you, the, the goal is is to balance and thereby cancel the, them out. So you can think of the psychic uh, balancing process as some kind of like a like a like a uh, an organ in a body. Let's say you ha you have a body in your in your physical body. You have like various organs do various functions. You got lungs. You, Got a heart. So we could think of the universe or the solar system as some kind of a body, and 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 within Earth we can think of human beings as some kind of a a cell or that like a white cell or a red blood cell or some kind of a body, some kind of a unit within a bigger system that's performing this function of regulating psychic energies. And that these psychic energies might be flowing from the sun, for instance. Uh, I have a feeling like the sun is actually creating these consciousness, and and human humanity is being used to regulate. Perhaps, I'm not saying this is true, but this is sort of. I think we need to think outside the box. Um, and uh, some some my thoughts on this. Okay, so why, uh, and I also believe that, uh, okay, anyway, let me just go. So, I wrote this a few, a bit earlier, a few hours earlier. So, I just got up from a nap. Yeah, I was sleep I was taking a nap. I was sleeping. I tend to sleep throughout the day. My sleep schedule is not good. Uh, and some thoughts occurred to me in my dream-like state. So, I was dreaming this, and 
basically, you know, in your dreams, you tend to think about things like that, you know. So Israel's, this is a fact, Israel's space chief, Haim Ashed. What's his name? How do you pronounce his name? Uh, man, I don't think I think I think that's the wrong spelling. Let me uh, where is it? So here is a. I mean, you're watching my videos. It's <laughs> uh, what is it? H-A-I-M-E-S-H-E-D E-S-H-E-D -E 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 So he said that, uh, you know, he's like a you know, brigadier general. He's very high in the... Um, so this was something he said in, what, 2020, maybe? So very recently. Uh, so he's very high in this. He's been, you know, very credible witness, which is what, you know, a lot of people... He, he has, he's 87, but he's very credible. Uh, and that's what you get. A lot of these uh, people are credible witnesses in the military and, you know, in intelligence. And you can say, oh, well, they're disinformation agents. But when you have a lot of credible witnesses over a long period of time saying similar things and even civilians saying it, you have to take, you have to sort of like, hmm, what are these people saying? They, they might be telling you the, there's something here, right? They might be telling you the truth. <laughs> so uh said that the galactic federation exists in a galactic federation something like a I think of star trek you know and i think some people say it's star trek you know gene roddenberry he was actually fed information like he had some connections to people like one of his to people who were like in the military and who could have transferred this information to gene roddenberry and he basically did star trek was to was it's like sort of like a soft disclosure, so when you think of Star Trek, that might actually be a real thing, and it's not just a movie. You know, it might be based on information that was given to Gene Roddenberry, or you know, and that the and the aliens don't want to reveal themselves to all, to us yet, and are waiting for us humans to figure out what this is a quote what space and spaceships are. Apparently, Trump was going to reveal the uh, existence of aliens, but the, but they told him not to reveal it because humans aren't ready yet or something. So this quote, what is space and what are spaceships are? Okay. And, you know, people like Bob Lazar or even just other scientists, have, oh, not scientists, so, uh, lots of people have said that, you know, that the aliens see the human body as a vessel, a container, you know, like lots of people have made these kinds of claims. And, uh, you know, some people have suggested the universe is a simulation. So in my dream, I was thinking about, I was dreaming of, you know, about the body. This is what sort of came to me, the body, container, and like how, like, like we are souls in a vessel, body contain a vessel and then it occurred to me that our human bodies may be a maybe may spaceships maybe our bodies are like spaceships and that space is an illusion and this is what the bad aliens and all the cabal deep state are trying to keep hidden from us because they want they don't want us to know that we we are these soul beings because they want to use us they want to farm us on planet earth in order to uh, resolve these psychic energies maybe um, or maybe just use us as soldiers or slave labor or food or whatever you know um, now also in that remote viewing uh, video I linked to earlier I heard that uh, it mentioned in one video that, you know, that uh, death is a way to move from one place to the galaxy to another. And in another video, I heard it mentioned that when we dream, we are in fact experiencing another reality, that our immortal soul lives in many realities. And by implication, our current waking conscious state is just one of those realities. Okay. So from there, you know, what if this is true? What if this is a big secret? We might be prisoners on prison planet Earth. 
you know, we need to think outside the box to drive in in order in order to derive at the truth. The truth may be much more intense and stranger than science fiction, you know. What we have been told that this materialistic universe is all there is, or the most important aspect of reality, might very well be the biggest of lies, the grandest of conspiracies perpetuated on modern current humans. People in the ancient past may have more access to the truth than we do. You know, in the past, you know, there's another... <sighs> We are energetic psychic beings trapped in these soul containers that can act as spaceships. We don't have to be stuck here in this 3D reality called Earth or even the solar system. The universe of reality is made up of multiple dimensions. So here is a, in this tweet, a parent government insider talks about these multiple dimensions. Um, here are my, some of my notes on our psychic nature. You know, I think humans are psychic vessels. We are put here by the aliens of planet Earth to process and resolve psychic energy. This is a song thing I wrote earlier. That is, we take positive and negative psychic energies and balance them out. This is our function. This is why the aliens want to keep us here on planet Earth. They are using us as a tool to resolve some problem. Now, this opinion is based on my reinterpretation of information gleaned from this video. And this is a very good video. I shared this before where they talk about the moon mainly, but in, at, around this part, at the 105. Now, they didn't mention that I'm, I'm claiming that they're trying to resolve. What was mentioned in this video is the idea that the moon was placed in the orbit of Earth in order to create tension in, in the consciousness of human beings because if you have the earth here and then you've got the moon on one side and you got the sun on the other there's like these fluids in our brain and and the you know how the moon uh creates a tide right so the moon can um create like move the fluids in the brain up and down or slosh it about or whatever and because of this tension between the moon and the sun uh, human beings are constantly placed in a in a state of conflict and and so i took this idea and i took this idea of taking putting us in a state of conflict and i and i and i and i sort of sort of um, you know I'm, I'm sort of making the claim that the and, and he, in, in this video it was intimated that we are being placed here to do something maybe they're trying to teach us something to learn how to deal with conflict um but what what I'm going to be claiming is that, and 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 uh, is that what 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 they might actually be doing is to resolve psychic energies. Like they're using it as a tool. They 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 want us to feel conflict. They want us to feel. That's why you get you know they're, they're always being placed into war. They're always being divided. They're always being put in states of conflict because they want us. To resolve psychic energies like they, they, you think of psychic energies as something that flows in the reality it's not something that the brain creates but it's like water like you're swimming through water imagine the psychic energy is similarly like that you're swimming through it and and your brain what it does is, or your it takes these psychic energies and it and it can it, and it rules and it cancels them out so you're 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 doing like a cleansing function, maybe like a sewage system, <laughs> maybe. Uh, uh, so by canceling out negative and positive, you know, you're canceling and you're you're resolving them and you're balancing it out. So maybe they're using humans to balance psychic energies. Uh, so we need to learn to protect ourselves from psychic attacks. There's some videos for that. And here's the tweet, don't radiate psychic energy, you know, you'll be a target. Here's a CIA doc on psychic phenomena, which is interesting. And here's another video about getting out of the soul trap. You know, we might as well, you know, we could... I think it's important for us to think outside the box, you know. Now, am I right? I don't know. You know, but but I think we should we should really start, like, putting all the stuff on the table. We have to start all, you know... We are going through a very significant stage in our evolution. 
our, our understanding on this planet. And, uh, you know, there's some uh, prediction videos. Here's, here's, a, here's some good prediction videos. I thought, you know, uh, let me see here. Here's some. Uh, let's, 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 you know, people are thinking the aliens are going to show up. I don't know if it's a good thing or it's, 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 here's some videos of prediction. Uh huh. That's one. It's another one. This is a small video. Well, 24. Anyway. <sighs> So now, I, now, uh, now in this video they talk about the moon. It's a very good video. It's, it's got a very good video, in my opinion. Um, it's a very good uh, sort of deductive analysis of the moon. And what I got from that video was this idea that we don't know. If we are being used by these aliens, they obviously need us. And you know, that they want us to be here. They are they so what are they using us for? And and when you read when you watch the video, that's the kind of thought press. It gets you thinking that way. Okay, what are they using us for? Are they training us to resolve conflict, to deal with conflict? Uh, 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 is the universe using the aliens? Is some other higher entity using these aliens and these uh, two and the aliens are using us? It's, it's like some kind of a very big interconnected system, right? And you're trying to find out what is your role in the system. Uh, so you know, just to in order to if you want to if you want to be free, if if freedom exists, you need to have the truth. You need to have the correct information because through ignorance they can keep you a slave. You know, they can keep, through ignorance they can manipulate you. So this is why I'm saying people have to start thinking outside the box. Stop thinking that this, you know, that, that this universe is 14 billion years old and there are these planets. You know, there's another book I was reading. I've only read the first hundred pages. It's, 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 it's apparently written by the Pleiadians. Um, they have a Twitter account. <laughs> if you go to uh, Ple, 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 shit, Pleiadians Twitter, you'll find them. Um, and there, there was this book. It's, this is a Pleiadians Twitter. I have even a, uh, and they have a book, and I actually I got the book. It's called uh, yeah. This is a book, right? Okay, this is a book. It's called. It's called comes the awakening, realizing the divine nature of who you are. All right, so I I ordered the. I think this is an important book. They 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 did talk about what time is, what the sun is, the idea that the sun is like a. I think they're intimating it that the sun is like a conscious entity that actually they didn't say that, but um, you got to think about the sun, man. You got to think about the sun, okay? <laughs> and then the earth. They, they might not be what they what we think they are. I think the sun actually creates time, and the sun creates the conscious energy. You have to think of the. You know, we are led to believe that the brain creates consciousness. What if, what if consciousness is created by stars such as the sun? It's like an energy, uh, like time is created by the sun. You know, apparently the uh, the, the universe the has a space the has a time it runs at some 22 trillion ticks a second and maybe it's the sun which is the stars which are creating it and and uh and life like uh like if you like plants have consciousness the earth is con everything is conscious not in the sense that 
we are conscious or the, everything is permeated everything is permeated with this conscious this energy if you think about um, you know light electromagnetic radiation uh, think of time as a form of radiation or wave or energy consciousness is also uh, on this spectrum of radiation if you think of consciousness like that a plant or a tree is is feeding life feeds or uses this whole spectrum of energy in order to sustain itself sun creates consciousness time light plants use light for photosynthesis you need time in order for there to be change think of time as like a water okay if you take time imagine time imagine you could take time and put it into a cup and if you take the cup and if you pour it over a, a certain section of space that space you can speed up the interactions in space so slow them down maybe depending on how much time you pour on it and you can think of consciousness as like something that permeates all of reality so this is how maybe you get faster than light communication is because you can use thought to communicate from one part of reality to another you know and you, know, you think of quantum entanglement how does that work that's still working on the third dimension of reality but there might be different dimensions where like this is uh, 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 this is other thing you gotta go about it calls you revs and mirrors it's it's like a really uh where is it uh, this whole thing on time time is like a very interesting like people don't oh, where the fuck is this time uh google cause rev mirror where mm. I have to, I have to uh, actually, uh, oh yeah, I don't know if I'll do it now. I'm so tired. Oh, oh, my, oh, please, where is this stupid thing? Mm. Oh, yeah, here we go. This is another interesting video. Um, uh, I don't know if this is where I got this, but, but I've, you know, anyway. Yeah, Revs Mirror. He did a lot of work on time. Rev. Causey Rev on time. Causey Rev. Yeah, well, it's, I'm not, I don't think this is, any, you have to Google this. Google Causey Rev on time. Google. Anyway, did I share the link to that book? <laughs> oh shit! Oh man! Ah, oh, let's go here. How do I share this? Is this a link? See, I should really prepare, but I'm just so like anxious to get all of this information out. It's like a I should discipline. I should discipline myself. I should discipline myself. I'm not doing it. I'm just not disciplining myself. It's called it's an Amazon link. It's called search for Twitter. Did I share the Twitter, please? Uh, yeah, here's the Pleiadians Twitter account. We don't wreck out. There's a lot of information in that book, which will, which will change the way we look at. I'm not saying ignore 3D 
reality or ignore the materialistic world. But I think we we are trying to say that reality is much more than simply matter and energy. It's more than light. Yes, there is time, but time. What is time and what is uh, consciousness? This might actually we might actually be able to understand it. It might not just you know you there can't be a scientific or I don't want to use the word. Science needs to expand beyond matter, and it needs to understand like like intention, intentionality might have power. It might be, this sounds very spiritual or magical, but they might actually be, like if you take in a conscious intention, like you, you intend something to happen, and if a lot of people intend the same thing, so that thing might actually happen. I don't know. I think I need to stop. <laughs>